Okay, Starlink. We got Starlink, uh, the Elon Musk internet for satellite, and it's supposed to be super fast and all that yada yada yippee skippy. And we live out in rural land, and it's really hard to get internet here at all. And then what you do get is usually bad. So we were super happy to be on the beta testing of Starlink, and we got involved, and we paid our money. It's 600 bucks. you got to buy the equipment. Then it's $100 a month. Well, they delivered several, several months late, and that's not a big deal because I understand when you're starting something like that up, there's incredible logistics involved. However, here's the scoop. I do believe we're getting hosed. I think that there's a bait and switch that is happening, and I'm going to show you exactly. We're going to speed test it right now, and I'm going to show you, but this has been happening to us now for coming on over a week, and I just started doing some research and found out it's happening to a lot of other people. Um, so bait and switch, you decide for yourself, but here's, here's what's happening to us and others. Okay. So first things first, Elon Musk was very, very vocal about not making a tiered system of payment. So it was gonna be one size fits all unlimited, super fast and anywhere you want it. That was, that was the basis. That's what he was preaching on for a long time. And lo and behold, guess what? Now it's a tiered system. They just launched this, and now you normal peons get the dregs of bandwidth and all that kind of stuff, and I'll show you. Uh, but the tiered system is, okay, so now what was $600 for the equipment is now $2,500 for the equipment, and what was $100 a month is now $500 a month. Mm. So... If you want the speed that they promised, now you're going to pay a lot more. Well, you don't believe me? Let's check out the speed test because here's the scoop. We still kept our AT&T account. We had one of those unlimited, unthrottled um, AT&T accounts. And let me tell you what, it's night and day. We're going to show you the AT&T first, then we're going to show you Starlink, and we'll be right back. All right, here we go with the at and Whoops. AT&T. That's about right. Usually bumps up around 100 and then peaks out, sometimes a little higher. And that sound is my wife cooking eggs next to me, just so Sorry. you know. That's all right. So that's about normal. And then up speeds around 10, 11. Okay. All right, here we go with Starlink. Whoops. Pull that down a little bit. Mark, it's go, 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 come on. Now, that sucks. It used to be 150, sometimes even as high as 200 down. I'm kind of feeling like we're getting the hose here. And up, even worse. That's not even, I mean, it's, it's a joke. Ugh. Okay, so here's an article, and they quote Starlink, and I did check it out, and it is there, but I wanted to show you this, because it's kind of hard to find this graphic. Performance, the regular Starlink package is the latency's fine, but look at that. You just saw that our uh, expected download speed is far <laughs> slower than what they supposedly guarantee. And the upload speed, far, not even usable. And so, well, Mr. I'm never going to do another tiered system. Well, Mr. 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 Mystery Musk. I don't know. Here's another article on uh, basically the, exactly what we're dealing with. They're growing, but the speeds are getting worse. And I'm not the only one who's noticing this. It's getting, it's getting almost to where it's like you might as well just stick with what you had. Okay. Now, first things first. I say that a lot, I guess. Sorry. Uh, first thing's third, however you want it. Um, this this speed throttling has happened for about a week and a half now. And we just thought, oh, well, this is a you know going to be a glitch or something. It's not a glitch when it's a week and a half. And it's also not a glitch when you can't get anybody on the phone so that they can go ahead and explain something or maybe they just allot you more bandwidth. 
because we're below, we are below what they actually said you could expect as a guarantee. Way below. I mean, way, way, way below. It's not, we're not even at one up for, for upload, and that's not even close. So, bait and switch. Mm, I really hope they're going to fix this, but it's looking an awful lot like, here's the, the tiered system for you guys who were willing to pay $500 a month for internet, and you'll actually get good internet, probably, maybe. And then you guys down here at the $99 a month, be lucky if you get, mm, you know, 15 down, 20 down, and one or less up. I mean, come on, people. That's like Frontier. That's like HughesNet. It ain't going to cut it. So I'm honestly wondering whether or not I should um, cancel my service. Now, I'm not recommending that to you or anybody because... To be honest, I know that there's a lot of people that if you live out in the in the in the woods, 20 down is great. But not when they promised something in the beginning. Not when they promised it and said, we're not gonna make a tiered system, which he did say, and not here's your guaranteed speeds. Now we're gonna give you a quarter of that or a third of that. Be happy. <sighs> I'm not saying that that's the case. I'm hoping that they're going to fix it, but boy, it sure is looking like we're getting hosed. What do you guys think? Comments down below. Um, not our normal kind of video, but I feel like it's important to put this out there because a lot of you guys, like us, live out in rural areas and you need to know. So before you spend your hard-earned money and go, wait a minute, this isn't what I thought. Well, there you have it. Have an awesome and blessed day.